Welcome everyone, this is Zonta with Repo Products. Today's video is on AutoCAD 2019 and how to work with Page Setup Manager and Printing. This is a request from a former student and I thought this would be a really good idea to have on our channel. Here I am in AutoCAD 2019. I have a sample file open I can, and I'm also in paper space. I can head over down into the lower left corner and see my layout. I can right click and do a lot of different things. For us, we're going to head over to Page Setup Manager and this dialog box will open up. You can resize this if you need to. You want to highlight the one that you're working with, the tab that you're working with, and click Modify. From here, you'll get the Page Setup Manager window. This Page Setup Manager window, you cannot resize. So you only have this size window to work with. The first thing you want to do is specify what printer or plotter you want this layout to be associated with. And this is meant for you for the overall purposes of printing out the entire full sheet um, on a printer or plotting on a full size plotter, the true size of the document. In our case, we're going to use AutoCAD PDF general documentation. And when you click properties, this dialog box will be different depending on what type of device that you select back in the previous dialog box. In here, you want to specify things like the size of the paper, black and white, and basic configurations. The next thing you want to take a look at is the paper size. And in here, we have specified the ARC D 36 by 24. Nice You'll see a preview window here for the image. And since this is a PDF um, PC3 file, you can click PDF options and specify different things such as your vector quality DPI, your raster image quality, and so on. In the plot area, since we are setting up this layout for plotting purposes in a overall basic manner, and we're not doing other types of plotting such as display, extents, view, or window, we want to choose layout as the default. This way, when you go to do the actual print or plot command, this window will be identical to that print plot window and it'll look fine. The plot offset origin that you see down here, you can specify a positive or a negative value in X and Y. So you can shift the actual printing information on the sheet of paper in that direction. And some people like to do that because they want to see like a half inch border at the top, um, a half inch border on the right, a half inch border on the bottom, and a one and a half inch border on the left to account for a one inch binding strip. The plot scale for the layout, you want to make sure it's one to one so that it's plotting in full true. The plot style table that is being used, this one you can either create your own or use whatever has been given to you as a default. Um, I'm going to pick grayscale. And then if you need to, you can click this little button right here and edit the actual pen settings themselves. When you're finished, other areas that you might want to consider are plotting transparency. So if you have transparency turned on for certain objects or layers, you want to make sure that this is checked so that it actually plots with that capability. Obviously, the orientation is important, so set that as well. And when you're finished, click Preview, and it will give you a preview of what the end result is going to look like. You want to ensure that you see the entire page, you see all of your content within that page, and that it comes out in the color that you want, or black and white, or grayscale that you want. I'm going to click this X to get out of that print plot preview mode, and then I'm going to click OK to finish the settings for that page setup manager, and then click close. If I do control P to plot, you notice the plot window has the exact same data. And if you click preview, the information will show up exactly the way you want. You can also right click and hit escape exit if you need to. If I were to click OK, it will go ahead and ask me to plot it. I'm going to put it in my temp folder. That way when it's finished, and you'll see in the lower right hand corner your progress and then whatever PDF software you have on your machine, it should automatically open up and show you the documentation like it's showing to me here and I'm using Bluebeam Review. So 
That's how you go through the process of working with the page setup manager in AutoCAD so that you can set up the layout properly and everything will come out properly when you print. Thank you very much for watching.